Hi, welcome to my channel all about mechanical engineering. For today's video, the topic of discussion is projection of planes. In the previous three videos, we have seen the basics of projection of planes and we have discussed the cases possible of projection of planes. Based on the plane positioning, we have three cases out of which case number one and case number two has been covered in previous three videos and the links are provided in the description. Today we will discuss case number three that is the actual exam question for engineering. Here surface of plane is inclined to one reference plane and a reference that is side edge or diagonal etc inclined to another reference plane. This consists of three stage solution. Now case number three has two sub cases either a surface of plane is inclined to HP and a reference that is side edge diagonal etc is given inclined to VP or surface of plane inclined to VP and a reference that is side edge diagonal etc inclined to HP. Now let us look at the procedure. It remains same for both sub cases A and B. Step number one, find the surface angle and neglect it. Then find whether the surface becomes parallel to HP or VP. That is you have to find the surface angle is theta or phi. Step number two, if the surface becomes parallel to HP, draw the true shape in top view as your first view of the solution. Or if the surface becomes parallel to VP, draw the true shape in front view as your first view of the solution. But taking the resting reference with whom the another angle is given on the left hand side and perpendicular to the another reference plane. Let us say you are talking about this surface becomes parallel to HP, you draw true shape first as your first view, then you have to take the resting reference with whom another angle is given on the left hand side and it should be perpendicular to VP. If the surface becomes parallel to VP, then front view will be drawn first and the resting reference with whom the other angle is given will be perpendicular to HP. Step number three, draw the opposite view of the solution. That is, if you have drawn top view first, now you have to draw the front view and vice versa. Step four, redraw the same view again, but adjust into the previous by considering the given surface angle. You have to remember this, out of the two given angles, always take the surface angle first, then the another. Step five, draw the opposite view using the intersection of projectors. Step six, redraw the same view again, but by putting the reference that is side, edge, diagonal, etc., which is given to us at a particular angle. Step seven, finally obtain the opposite view by intersection of projectors. For better understanding, let us take an example. We are discussing here case three, sub case A. Example is a rectangular plane PQRS with side PQ equals to 30 mm and QR equals to 60 mm has its surface inclined to HP at 40 degrees such that side PQ is 40 mm above HP and inclined to VP at 30 degrees. The corner P is 10 mm in front of VP, draw the projection of the plane. Let us write the given data for you, this question. First thing, rectangular plane PQRS side PQ 30 mm, QR 60 mm. First given data. Then again, surface is inclined to HP that is 40 degrees, theta is 40 degrees. Then side PQ is 40 mm above HP and inclined at 30 degree. So side PQ is 40 mm above HP and makes phi equals to 30 degrees. Also the corner P is 10 mm in front of VP. So this is the point. Now, this is a three dimensional representation of the given question. As you can see here, in front view, and top views, we don't obtain the true shape. So you cannot draw directly the solution. That's why this question has three different stages. Before going to the solution, let us take a view how you have to proceed. Step number one says of the procedure that find the surface angle and neglect it. So this is our surface angle, theta. So if you neglect this surface angle, then the true shape will be visible in top view. This is the first step you have to identify. Again, another angle is given with a reference. Here, the reference is side PQ. And it makes 30 degree with the vertical plane. 
So this is how the three stages are. Before going to the solution, the thing is why I have taken this rectangle in this position and why not in this particular position while starting. So in second step, I have written that given resting reference with whom another angle is given, this must be taken on the left hand side and perpendicular to VP in the first step. So here if you see this will be the side PQ, it is shorter and it is parallel to VP, not perpendicular. That's why this cannot be our first stage. You have to keep it like this. So this is regarding your second step. In that you have to draw the true shape first. Step number three says draw the opposite view. So you'll draw this front view using the projectors. Then step number four says draw the same view again by considering the given surface angle. So you have to draw this view, then taking the projectors down and from this top view, you have to obtain this shape. This is the reduced shape in top view. Then uh, next step is redrawing this top view again at a particular given angle phi. So this is the next step. And using the projectors, you have to complete the final front view. So here I have given the color codes. Green indicates true shape in top view. Yellow indicates reduced shape in top view and sky blue indicates shape in front view. Let us draw the actual solution now in 2D. Taking a swirl line, projector, we have to draw the top view first. So the in front distance that is P corner was mentioned as 10 mm. This is P. Length is mentioned as 60 mm. Breadth is given as 30 mm. Completing the rectangle, naming it QRS. Then we have to move to the opposite view. Above distance is given as 40 mm. Taking the projector up, completing it. P and Q will be in the same location. R and S will be on the same location. Then you have to draw the same view again, adjacent to it, but considering the angle this time. So P dash Q dash, angle theta, redrawing it, naming the points, taking projectors down and from the top view itself, obtain the intersection points here P and Q on this line, here P is on this line and Q is on this line. Similarly R and S, join them in sequence P to Q, Q to R, R to S, S to P. Then you have to draw this view again but considering the angle phi. Phi is given as 30 degrees to us, drawing the line, putting P1, Q1 on this line, not PQ. We have to put P1, Q1. Here it makes no difference, but you have to remember that you have to redraw this one. Then obtaining R and S. How? You have to take arc 1, that is point P1 and radius equals to P1S1 in your compass, draw an arc. Again, another arc from Q1 now and radius equals to Q1S1. Put it on Q1, draw another arc, intersecting it, join this. Then from Q1 and radius equals to Q1R1 now. So this is our radius now. Draw an arc. Then from P1, radius equals to P1, R1, put it on P1, draw another arc. Join it, complete it, name the sequence P1, Q1, R1 and S1. So here you can see this line P1, Q1 was initially drawn and these two points are reference for obtaining the remaining points. So for obtaining S, you have taken once the distance from P, once the distance from Q. Similarly, for obtaining R, you have taken once the distance from Q, once the distance from P. Now taking all the projectors up and from the front view, obtaining intersections. So P is on this line and on this line. So this is P1 dash. Q on this line, on this line. So Q1 dash. Similarly, R and S join it in sequence. P1 dash, Q1 dash, Q1 dash to R1 dash, R1 dash to S1 dash and S1 dash to P1. 
W and dash again. So this completes your solution. Now, as I told you in previous videos, the name, corresponding name of front view and top view will be matching in your final third stage. See so yeah, it's matching. Q1, top view, Q1 dash, front view. So this is how you have to obtain the solution when both inclinations are given in the question of a plane. Hope you have enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet or you're new to my channel, then please don't forget to subscribe it, like and share my videos with your friends. Thank you for watching this video.